When Trump says that Israel is one of the great democracies in the world, I would say that's the biggest bullshit I've ever had. We're here in Bethlehem, home to an ancient Palestinian Christian community. To hear what they have to say about Christians in the West supporting Israel, Donald Trump's move to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, and to see what life is really like here for Christians living in the occupied West Bank. I always try to tell my child that we don't hate Israelis, but we hate what they are doing to us. My name is Marwan Harp. I'm a Christian living in Palestine, Bethlehem. When I hear that Christians in the West are helping Israel, thinking that they are helping Christians in Palestine, I think uh, they're mistaken. Israel is who to blame. They took everything, man. They took all your life since you were a child. There's understanding between Christians and Muslims that live here. There's a lot of differences as well. And who care about us? The Muslim, the Palestinian, uh, Muslim Palestinian, they care more than the Christian in the world. So our brother, they are the Palestinian Muslim, not the Christian in the world. I tell my uh, brothers and sisters uh, from other nations, Christians, I tell them uh, to support us. My name is uh, Sandy Kumsiya. I'm a Christian Palestinian. We are here uh, in Bethlehem. Uh, it's really sad here. What happens to anyone who speaks against the, the Israeli government here? If they will notice that there's someone who might make a threat for them, they will come in less than 10 minutes and take him away and will be in jail. Some of the most basic uh, uh, rights, human rights, are not given to us. We have a problem with the government and the rules they set. Freedom of movement, freedom of speech, just freedom in general, we don't have it. And this is it, the separation barrier, also known as the apartheid wall. It separates Bethlehem and the occupied West Bank from Jerusalem, meaning that for Christians to visit their holy sites, they need to go through an Israeli checkpoint and get Israel's permission. Basically, you're not uh, allowed to breathe unless you, you take their permission. And they control how much water we get. So we get the water like one day in the month. So this is a big problem. No one knew about that and no one cared about that. What I think of the U.S. recognizing Israel, uh, Jerusalem, that the capital of Israel. They can claim it. The capital of China, if they want, doesn't make any difference to us. We want peace, of course we want peace, but we want a balanced peace and fair peace.